20 years ago, Rich Gramigna and fellow Sikorsky aircraft worker Dave Dunn were in the 25th Army Division in Vietnam. While Gramigna hasn't propped himself behind a tank gun in decades, and Donlin no longer dodges sniper fire, they're still working, if you will, behind the scenes. As Sikorsky employees in Stratford, they help build military helicopters like the Black Hawk. But it's their mutual experience in Vietnam that bonds these two men. Both Donlin and Gramigna were part of Tropic Lightning, the division profiled in the movie Platoon. Recently, as they went to see that movie, we joined them. It's kind of scary in a way because uh, it's, you see, uh, you, sh you think of all the things that you went through and uh, you wonder whether uh, yeah, how it's going to affect you in any way. Two tickets for Platoon. When I got home, nobody wanted to know me. I, mean, I didn't even want to admit that I was a Vietnam veteran. It took a lot for me to admit that, that I want to know you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, buddy. I wonder if they know uh, anything about Vietnam. <laughs> yeah. It was probably about four years old. Yeah. You like the front or the back? Let's go back towards the middle. For the most part, veterans who've seen the movie say it's the most accurate film about Vietnam ever done. But black veterans have been critical of the film because of the way blacks were portrayed in it. And retired Army General William Westmoreland says it draws an unfair picture of the American soldier. You know, I don't know, it's just like a whole thousand different feelings go through you. Yeah. You wonder, you wonder if, uh, you know, if in fact uh, pe these people around here, around us right now, know exactly what went on. If this, if the, if the movie alone just showed them something, you know. I think it does. I think we know it. Do they know it? Yeah, I think it really does. Another thing you have to ask yourself is, does anybody really care? After the movie, I spoke with both men about the story they said was an accurate portrayal of the war, which brought back painful memories. When an ambush patrol would go out, we were called a reaction force. If they got hit, uh, we had to go out and help them out. There was one particular time when we first got over there, we didn't hear from our ambush patrol, and they sent us out. Well, there was a 10-man patrol, and all 10 were... Uh, chopped up pretty bad and I, it, it brings back some uh, some sorrowful memories well I think after seeing this picture you get an idea of what the brutality of war is I just pray that uh, my children and children after never have to go through it and it's, if they do have to go through it I pray that they never they come back to a, uh, a country that treats them much better than they treated us <laughs> <laughs> 